welcome to my channel, Find Joy in the Journey. Guess what? It's beginning to feel a lot more like fall. Um, I think it's in the 70s, so that's good. It feels good. It's not cold, um, but it's a cooler, uh, brisk feeling. So it feels more like fall, especially since we're in uh, November right now. But you guys, I haven't been out in the garden because it's been a lot of rain off and on. So I've just been letting the garden do what it does. It just continue to progress. Everything looks good. Um, but as I was coming in the house and I passed by, I noticed that some of my tomatoes were blushing. So they were ready to come off the vine. So I harvested those. I'll let you see them. Uh, the beefsteak tomatoes and the other plant. I'm not sure if it's a beefsteak or, so, or a rugter, but I harvested one off that one and about three or four off of the beefsteak. But I'll show you what else I harvested. Corn! I have several ears of corn here. This is, uh, I want to say this is the silver and gold. This is the silver and gold sweet corn. They're not huge, but look at that. To say that I grew this in a container, okay, that's a success story. One moment. All right, I have four of the ears here. I'm gonna try to keep them separate. You know what, they're both gonna be bicolored because the bodacious is also a bicolored. What I mean by bicolored is this. I have light kernels and uh, darker yellow um, kernels. So that's, I think that's the silver and gold. Now this may be the bodacious, just take a quick look. And as you can see, it is completely pollinated. That's my hand pollinating. Uh-oh, this must be the bodacious. It looks totally different. And you know what? It is not bicolored, but it is lighter than usual, okay? This is the bodacious, and that's a smaller ear of corn. It probably could have stayed in a little longer, you see? But look, the part that is, uh... okay, I could have been a little more patient with this one. But I was just afraid with uh, the heavy rains. It was getting really saturated, but I think this is going to be okay. And I did do my test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one could have stayed a little longer. But let's look at the difference. This is the bodacious, and this is the silver and gold. So yes, I always said that the bodacious was a bicolored, but I was wrong. Okay, so that's the bodacious. This is the silver and gold. And if you remember what my other one the other variety I was growing, what it looked like, the early sun glow, is completely yellow. It's a darker yellow than the bodacious. I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to be totally honest, I haven't been feeling well. It's uh, problems with the shoulder and the back, lower back. It's something that I, I deal with. It's not anything new. But there's times when it, it's worse than usual. So, but it never stops me, okay? But I don't want hubby to go what are you doing outside shouldn't you be resting <laughs> okay this is also some of the bodacious okay and look like i said see this little part here that can be cut off and i also want to show you that see that shows we're like we're gonna have some trouble so i think it's better to go ahead and harvest it now plus if it gets any colder corn is not a cold weather plant okay mm -hmm. just to remind you very quickly i grew this spur of the moment late summer because the first part of the summer i struggled with the corn it wasn't the best harvest so i decided late uh maybe early august to go ahead and plant more to see if i could get a quick late harvest before the colder weather came so that's why you see me harvesting corn in November okay but I consider it a success story oh more silver and gold and this is a nice one this is the silver and gold what you think about that isn't that nice ah. last one there's more there are more uh, cobs out there but I took only what I felt was ready okay 
And we're completely done with the early sun glow. That's, that's finished. I harvested all of that and I got six very nice ears of corn. Uh -oh. Let's see what we got. It's up, oh, silver and gold. More silver and gold. And I'm just loving the fact that, as you can see, there's no missing little spots. I'm trying to do it quickly. All right, there we go. More silver and gold. So I have three ears of silver and gold, sweet corn. And I have two bodacious. Now they'll be small cobs. I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut it off at a certain point. But look at that. I consider that a cor sweet corn success story. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in, and I will post pictures of the tomatoes that I harvested. Okay, bye now. You guys, guys have a great day.